Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Before I start this video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before Christmas. It's an insane, you know, uh, adventure, but I'm, I'm trying. So if you could like and subscribe, literally, only, I think it's 0.5% of all my viewers are subscribed. So if just one of you, every thousand, decide to subscribe, my subscriber count will go up crazy. Um, I am thinking about doing a giveaway once a month, but that will be in the next video. Anyway, back to it. Today it's part two of upgrading the K40 laser and we're working on the DC side of things. There's a lot of the DC side of things I would like to cover today. Um, I'm trying, I'll try to get as much as I can done. Um, if you do any research, whether you look on YouTube or do any reading about the K40, um, especially if you're upgrading the sort of things I'm going to, there are two sort of sets of people. One set that will connect directly to the K40's actual power supply and draw all the power from there. And then there's another set that will get their own power supply, uh, connect that to the AC input and go from there. Now, the reason people do this, um, do that extra step, is you really don't want to overload your power supply to the K40 because it's a lot more expensive to get a new one and wire that in than it would be to get a cheap little thing like this. So I'm going to obviously go this route and it just means I can have more things connected. Not more things connected, sorry, but it means that if I do accidentally put a bit too much stuff on and I blow this, it's a few pounds, not well it's not even a few pounds, I think it's about £2.50. Um, whereas, it, you know, it doesn't damage the entire supply of the K40. It's a little bit of extra work, but it's a it's tiny amount for quite a lot of reward. Um, but yeah, let's just, I'm going to start off by wiring this in, and um, then we'll start wiring all of our actual um, DC stuff in as well. Let's get on. Before we look at the power supply I'm going to be using, um, let's have a quick look at all of the upgrades I'm hoping to fit in this. I'll put labels for what they all are on the screen now. Right, with these little doers, you get live neutral ground and then you've got your positive and negative uh, DC side do not mix these two up or you'll allow the magic smoke to escape and then its soul won't be there anymore and it will be dead but we need to connect to these now I've I've tinned um, some wire um, and it's quite long but you'll see why that I've made it quite long in a second right this is voice over me and I am using a soldering iron that I was asked to review it's actually a really good soldering iron the video should be out now um, up in the top corner have a look uh, anyway I'm soldering another wire to the negative because we need two wires on the negative and then just one on the positive like normal and I'll show you why in just a second just going back to the soldering iron it's actually a really good one it's got a little thermostat doer in and I'll leave a link to it in the description because it's actually really really good value it's a whole set and comes with all this stuff as well. I just really like it, genuinely. Okay, so I've made these, quite, the wires, quite a lot longer. So I actually want to place it back here somewhere. And the reason I'm doing that is so it can be near this outlet fan. So basically, if it does start to get warm, that, that hopefully the fan will actually keep it cool. So it'll suck the air across the top. So I'm going to work out sort of rough lengths of what I need and then I will be back to wire it all in. Right, I've sorted the length of wire out for the actual um, AC input to the uh, power supply. I'm going to wire that in now. Um, on my uh, particular power supply it's these two here. Um, I'll show you schematics at the end or if not at the end of the video they'll be over on my Patreon page for free. You don't have to be a patron or anything. It's just an easy place to put them. Um, so I'll either put them at the end of this video or there, um, but I'm going to wire this in. But bear in mind there are very there's lots of different versions of this exact power supply. It looks the same at first glance, but they will be different. So just be careful and make sure you've done your research and you know what power supply you're using. But yeah, I'll wire I'll wire this in now, and then we'll go to the next step. Right, this is the first test, and I'm hoping that just that light at the back goes on and this light obviously, but nothing goes pop. But we'll see. Yes, we have 12 volt power. Right, next I've got to connect the ground, now as you'll see, let me show you actually. 
right, that's all wired up now. Um, so what to do next is the DC side. And as you'll notice, I've connected um, two ground wires to the ground side of the DC. And that is because I need to connect the ground to the actual DC side ground of the actual power supply as well. Um, so I'm just going to bring that down and round and plop it in. But it's going to be a bit of a pain, let me show you. On mine, there are multiple things already plugged in, so I'm actually going to have to cut the wires and crimp them all together and then put just one in, as in all three connected to one because they won't fit in. There's too many bits in there. Now, as I said in the previous bit, do not just take where I'm saying to put them as gospel. Check your um, power supply first. Here I am, I've turned it back on again just to make sure that the wiring is all working fine and nothing's gone pop. And I do this all the time no matter what I'm doing, just in case you add something else to it and then it doesn't work and you think it's the thing you've just added last, but it's something you did in a step beforehand. Um, with that in mind, I then cut out this panel out of paper just to make sure everything lines up and all the sizes are right. And I'm glad I did this because I had actually made a mistake, but um, I don't think I show that. It's just, you know, I then do it out of wood and it's fine but um yeah i was glad i'd done it um out of the paper because i've already wasted a couple of things in this project cutting them out and doing them wrong so yeah a little bit of caution when you're doing things like this just to make sure that you are actually cutting them out the right size especially when you can't see certain things through the control panel and uh, what a lovely amount of smoke this is producing here i'm actually making a set of sort of um, wires to connect all the DC to all the different things. I decided to do it this way rather than plugging them all into one block or whatever so that I can have them all labelled and if something breaks I know exactly where it is and I can just unplug it and plug the replacement in etc. Um, it's a little bit more hassle but you'll see what I mean later on. I'm, I'm going to make this all so I can just upgrade it again very very easily rather than having to desolder anything or you know that kind of thing. Okay, as voiceover me just said, I'm going to be trying to make this as upgradable as possible. And I've laser cut this to hold my little, well, it'll be this way around, my little um, box. Basically, I'm just going to have all the different things connected up individually so that um, I know exactly what's what and it just makes life a lot easier. So I'm going, to, I'm going to put this together and I'm also going to make it connectors here so I can actually disconnect everything if needs be. Okay, so these are the laser pieces I've done, and um, this is all now connected up, ready to actually go into the laser. Um, I, as I say, I've made it all quick release so that I can take the whole thing apart if needs be. Um, but I need to start populating this, but I've actually got one more thing to do before I can actually get to this part. Let me show you. Right, as you may notice, I have two different um, temperature sensors. And that is because this one, which one's this? Uh, no, this one is just a boring, you know, um, can we even see that? Let's zoom right in. Just a boring little display. And then this one, although it's no, no different, uh, come on, is one like that. So I would like to have this one, but this one sadly is all connected up to the bits I need. So I'm actually going to swap a few bits around now so that this this display will work with this set. Um, I think it's just going to be a case of taking the back off and desoldering, but I'm not 100% sure.
Okay, I have wired this all back up together now, so it's got the screen I wanted on the actual connection that I need, um, and that's all fine and good. Um, I have soldered it back together knowing that I'm going to need to desolder it later on, but I wanted to test it just to make sure it was working. Right, sadly I'm going to have to leave it there, I've completely run out of time, I wanted to get so much more done. Um, I actually wanted to get this not completely wired in, but I wanted to get it at least in the laser and get a few bits in it, but I'm just, I've just completely run out of time. Um, hopefully by next week then I will have the rest of this done up to a point where um, I can at least get bits wired in and make it look beautiful and so on, but we shall see. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, if you can subscribe I'd really appreciate it, but I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.